Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets midday on Wednesday, the 16th of March 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs, especially since spread breaking a CFD brokerage. Alternatively, you can visit the educational site, www.cfds.education, to certainly learn more. Okay, now let's try and um, <clears throat> decipher as to uh, uh, how the markets are positioned going into, obviously, this uh, major announcement today from the FOMC with regards to uh, rate increases. Okay, now the Nikkei obviously finished negative overnight, uh, the Hang Seng negative as well. The Shanghai managed to hold on to gains along with the uh, the uh, or, or the uh, the actual uh, Australian indices as well. Okay, so a mixed set of results there, but the major um, news out overnight, uh, we had number one was the Yuan certainly strengthening, uh, or should I say, sorry, Yuan weakening and the Yen potentially strengthening as well to a large extent. So if I just bring up the chart of the Yuan, or oh, the Remimbi, okay, as you can see here, we had a drop, we held that gap fill resistance and the weekly chart certainly so is, has held that resistance zone, okay. Right, so given the fact that the yuan has fallen, that should be net net negative for indices, and that's what we are seeing a majority of the indices down today. You are the CAC negative, the jacks are holding on to gains, and the FTSE more or less flat. Now, <clears throat> that should be negative for markets, along with the USD JPY trade as well. If I just bring up the USD JPY, and you can see that the USD JPY certainly has pulled off the highs. Uh, although, having said that, the, the yen did strengthen overnight. Um, but uh, the dollar side of the equation remains strong, so the USD JPY is still distorted to a large extent from that perspective. So, given the fact that the Fed is expected to be hawkish and uh, certainly talk up rate hikes as well, okay. So, uh, the yen uh, did slightly pull back though, given the uh, the talk from Mr. Corroda. Uh, now, bear in mind, a drop in the yuan triggers the yen to rally, okay. Bear that in mind, okay. A drop in the yuan triggers the yen to rally because it's a zero-sum game and it creates fear, it creates panic, etc., etc. But uh, the news from one of the uh, BOJ members, if I can remember correctly, let me just go back to my tweets because this is quite important. If I go back here. Ah, here we go. Mr. BOJ Corroda, okay? Exports rising gradually, but exports production have shown weakness. BOJ will ease again in all three forms, quantity, quality, and rates if needed. Hypothetically, there is still room to cut negative rates even further. So he's in a U-turn, basically. And that's basically what's caused the yen uh, to obviously collapse to a large extent. And uh, has uh, although the yen should be rallying given the yuan drop, but... It, given the uh, job warning from Mr. Corroder and the U-turn from Mr. Corroder as well, that in itself does trigger off the concerns with regards to negative rates going forward. So on the one hand, you have the yuan falling, which is a risk off move. On the other hand, you have the yen falling, which is a risk on move. OK, although it may be risk on for the global markets to a large extent, but any talk of negative rates is actually negative for the markets. So we have this fundamental conundrum right now. OK. Where any talk of negative rates, etc., can cause concerns because the last time this chap attempted to do negative or go into negative rates, it, it backfired. And also, with regards to the ECB, it's backfired. It actually causes the yen to appreciate. So, again, that certainly needs to be taken into consideration. Now, the USD JPY trade at the moment is distorted because of the FOMC decision later on today with regards to being hawkish from my perspective. Okay, that's what I expect. Okay, that's the uh, important thing here. Okay, so. Let's just bring up the charts now for you folks. Okay, so uh, let's bring up the chart of crude oil because that itself is very important as well. You can see crude oil certainly holding well and that certainly is helping the FTSE today given the fact that uh, there is talk with regards to uh, an oil production cut going ahead with 20 countries on board or 20 OPEC nations or, or non-OPEC nations on board and uh, even without the Iranians, okay? So again, certainly take that into consideration. Now, from the UK perspective, you had stronger economic data today with uh, unemployment claims dropping to 1975 levels. You've had average earnings certainly increasing as well, certainly impressive. 
to a large extent the claimant count as well down 18,000 so overall net net good with wage wage growth certainly rising and that should in its in and of itself should help the FTSE so stronger oil plus stronger economic fundamentals for the FTSE 100 the FTSE 100 is certainly positioned to be bullish okay so if we bring up the chart of the FTSE you are expecting the FTSE now to potentially launch uh, an attack at the pivot high at 62220 potentially the uh, uh, resistance on a 6250 and then obviously the 6270 uh, uh, zone above okay the 60 minute chart at the moment does have a bull flag in play the bear flag obviously as you as you can see here has failed now the bear flag can only play out if we have negative data and that has not been the case because you have strong data so therefore you are looking for a potential short squeeze to ensue so certainly take that on board as well when trading the FTSE 100 okay now uh, given the fact that you have a failed bear flag that generally triggers a short squeeze higher especially given the OPEC meeting and you are looking for a potential thrust here at up to 6185 now I'll declare that I am long the FTSE so I'll certainly declare my bias but I am explaining my trade setup as well a failed bear flag equals a short squeeze and that's exactly what I'm expected to happen here up to 6160 6170 6190 above okay again you do have this diagonal trend line resistance at 6190 so certainly keep an eye on that potential zone for resistance okay Right, going over to a 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100, yes, you do have a, a case for a HS formation, and that HS formation can only be triggered by the Fed, so bear that in mind. The Federal Reserve would have to uh, be overtly hawkish, send the dollar spiking higher, which in turn hurts commodities, and send the FTSE lower. So that certainly is a pattern that one would obviously uh, keep, keep on the uh, on the radar. So certainly keep an eye out for that. Okay. Again, if you do move lower, then you have a support of 6130, 6120, and then you have support of 6110, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But for now, the market certainly looks like it wants to squeeze and push higher. So it's all eyes on the uh, the FTSE 100. Okay. Now going over to the European indices, uh, it's all about the euro. Uh, let's bring up the euro USD and bring up the uh, euro USD. Certainly has held this uh, pivot lower so 1.1070 so therefore it can always have a negative impact uh, on the european equities let's bring up the chart of the bonds because the bonds will be important today the bonds is now into resistance okay so bear that in mind with the bonds being into resistance okay that's generally good for the euro uh, good for the euro generally means that uh, it will cause the uh, european equities to come under pressure and that's exactly what we are seeing now even though i am you long the euro stocks i'll just declare uh, now the euro stocks certainly remain vulnerable here okay given the fact that we potentially close the gap this morning you do have this uh, head and shoulders formation so again this is cause for concern so any pop higher it will be an exit strategy for me and uh, potential gap fill below if the euro starts to bounce and the uh, bonds start to collapse again and then as we all know that sends the yields higher and therefore you are looking at the uh, euro spiking as well so it's a, it's a mixed message in the moment, folks. Very, very mixed message. Although, having said that, you do have the QE backdrop for European uh, uh, European um, indices. So, again, certainly take that into consideration as well. But that h &S formation certainly looks very appealing, and that certainly is a, a, a trade that I'll keep an eye on. When we do get up to this 3070 level, then I'll have to reassess potentially or potentially higher. But again, that certainly remains on my radar for now, okay? Bringing up the chart of the German DAX, let's see exactly where this is positioned. The German DAX certainly is has seen a wild ride as of late. Uh, let's just see exactly where we are uh, from a trading perspective. You have the unfilled gap below, which obviously hasn't closed. So that gap certainly is quite attractive, given the fact that the Nikkei was lower overnight. You get obviously, negative rates, U-turn, etc. Uh, it's still yet to see what the impact will be. Again, a lot of the price action will be distorted due to the... Uh, Fact that you have the FOMC today as well, so bear that in mind, okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, okay. 60 minute chart of the uh, the German DAX. Let's just bring up the uh, German DAX. You can see that topping tail certainly is holding as resistance again, so that needs, certainly needs to be respected. We do have two unfilled gaps below, given the fact that we have held double top resistance on the German DAX. So that certainly needs to be taken into consideration as well when trading, okay. So these are the levels that we're watching with a potential double top on the DAX, okay. Again. It's all about the Fed and how the market reacts to it. Uh, stronger economic data is helping the FTSE to keep keep it afloat. Okay, just bear that in mind for the FTSE, certainly uh, a divergence there. Now, the French CAC got pushed higher, attempted to close that gap at 4503. Uh, I had a stop at 4510 on the French CAC with my shorts. Thank God it was at 4510 and I wasn't stopped out. Okay, so the market has reversed subsequently, it is now into support and looking to potentially push higher again. Uh, again, it's all eyes on the FOMC. We have economic data coming out 
in the next 15 minutes out the US and that will be market moving and that will be very very important as to the direction or you'll give us a hint as to the Fed's thought process okay but for now you are looking at potential support so all eyes on the uh, uh, European equities with the unfilled gap below as well again that is a cause for concern a uh, 60 minute chart is still a lower high still indicating weakness so again that certainly needs to be taken into consideration the daily chart has held that uh, topping tail uh, if the euro starts to move higher if the fed isn't as hawkish as everybody expects then you are looking at the uh, the euro appreciating and uh, again that's going to be negative for the market so all eyes on the fomc if they are hawkish they'll send the euro euro um, uh, lower and they'll send the usd jpy higher and that in and of itself will inflate equity markets and uh, will reassure everybody that the growth model is on uh, is in motion and that should send the uh, equity markets higher if it's vice versa then i think we all know what's going to happen okay if the dollar starts to depreciate the euro will appreciate and the USD JPY trade goes into reverse and the European uh, US equities certainly start crashing as well. So it's very important that the dollar remains strong here to a large extent. Not too strong, though, as we all know, it has to be a Goldilocks strong. Not too cold, not too warm, right in between. That should help support the markets, OK? So certainly take all that into consideration going into the... Uh, FOMC decision. Now, we have the UK budget news out soon. So, again, we'll see exactly how the markets react to that. That will be interesting. Okay. Um, but from my perspective, there is a HS formation, although you do have the probability and possibility of pushing high up to 6170 again, potentially 6180 and 6190 as well. Okay. So, remain open minded. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and good luck with today's trading.